Hi, good morning. I'm Jerome. Just to share with you what I do sometimes in the morning just to get stretched and ready to go. I'll be 70 years old soon and I want to show everybody that just because you're old doesn't mean you can't be healthy. I'm just going to go through some of these real quick for you, you know, but, you know, stretching, you should be able to stretch like this or any way you want within reason. And the reason you can't do it is because you don't understand the fundamentals of how to keep your body healthy. And you do that by control. You've got to control your diet if you want to stay healthy. You've got to control how much acids you put into your system to throw it off balance and make you decay. You've got to learn how to take a few vitamin supplements or certain types of foods that will help you. My neighbor down the street, you know, he says, Oh, I'm, I'm having to get up and go to the bathroom all the time. And I'm going to go to the doctor. I said, you don't have to go to the doctor. Just eat some corn. Put some corn in your diet. You'll be fine. Getting back to it. I usually, I usually do a bunch of push-ups. Got to remember to breathe. Stretch out their calves, stretch. Some people are able to go to yoga and learn how to do a lot of these things, which is cool. Anything that you can do to make yourself move and realize when and where you have a problem, where you can't move, you have to deal with it right away. You can't just let it sit there and, and get worse. It will never get better on its own. And only you can make it get better. And like I said, it's all about control. If you can control your tongue, and if you can control its mind over matter. So if you can, the mind is supposed to be able to, to control, overcome, uh, manipulate all matter. That's what mind over matter means. And these taste buds, that's matter. So you should be able to control it. Just because your friends are all running to jump off the bridge, drinking those uh, Gatorades and soda pops and all those concentrated acids, doesn't mean that you have to do it. Drink water. Drink water or better. You'll never be the person that you can be until you can control that outside environment that you're putting into your body to make you decay. There's no guide that tells us how long we should live and what we should be able to do at various times of our lives. But there's one thing for sure. You'll never be able to see what life has in store for you if you're not healthy. If you're not healthy enough to enjoy it, what's the point? Just to collect money? And then what's that for? No, there's more to it than that. There's much more to it than that. So I usually, I usually do a lot of these two in the morning. And now I should be able to walk around it. I could never walk like the kid that I went to school with. He could put his palms on the freaking, on the freaking ground and walk around. I'm not that far into it, thank you very much. I'll tell you another reason I stay in shape. It's because, it's because I never know when I'm going to have to kick somebody's ass. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. But I want to be ready. When the, the Armageddon or whatever it is comes, you know, if you're not fit, you're not going to have a chance. And guess what? I'm not going to be coming back to get you. You have to learn to keep up. Take care of yourself. Don't fall for it. 
Don't fall for the old okie doke. All these things that they're trying to sell you out there, that's for them. That's not for you. So overcome your, your desire for Coke and Pepsi and Gatorade and 7-Ups and apple juices and orange juices and all of that crap. Drink water. It'll help you immensely. Okay, that's all I have to say about that. And I'm going to get on with it. Thanks for watching.